my name's Cece and welcome to another episode of Pet Central. This week we have political intrigue, fashion for felines and so much more. Stay tuned. Fashion and cats, you gotta love them. But what if I told you a company called Uni Habitat has found a way to combine the best of both these worlds. Behold, the Muguru, a hoodie with a pouch at the stomach region specially designed to carry your cat. The sleeveless, cool and comfy hoodie is made from 100% double knit cotton, which is a strong yet light material which makes it perfect for the summer and smooth enough to make sure your kitty doesn't get his or her claws caught on the material. The pouch in question can hold around 7 kilograms worth of cat and can even be detached. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, the sweater also has pom-poms attached to cords for your cat to play with, as well as your own pair of fake cat ears sewn on the top of the hoodie. So if you want to walk around with your kitty or just chill at home while they snuggle up to you in your pouch, then you may just want to get your very own Meowguru hoodie. You just gotta get onto the right platform in order to get what you want. And that's exactly what this stray kitty did when she interrupted a live news broadcast for WXYZ TV Channel 7 in Detroit. The kitten in question walked up to the crew and news van and started meowing throughout the broadcast and eventually melted the host's heart who picked her up and showed the kitten to audiences at home while talking about his newfound friend and keeping her warm and safe. They then contacted a shelter where Lucky Seven, as she was then named, was put up for adoption. The kitten was checked by a vet and given a clean bill of health, while a spokesperson from the shelter that she was brought to said, she was purring and making muffins with her paws the entire time she was being examined by our veterinarian and now is relaxing comfortably in our nursery, awaiting a foster home to come and get her. This just goes to show what a little timing and love can result in. If there are two things that every cat owner knows is that their cats are very cute and that they'll do everything in their power to prevent you from doing your work when they're around. And it's fact number one that makes you forgive them for the second. Things seem to be no different for famed manga artist Mizuki Setaguchi, who has borne witness to an office cat turning her workspace into his own personal fort. The cat in question has taken a keen interest in Setaguchi's Wacom tablet, in particular the small space behind it when set up at an angle. This has caused the manga artist to document her feline friend's exploits and in turn both caused her Twitter images to go viral and draw even more attention to her manga. Comments started pouring in such as Don't look at me with eyes like that, lol lol lol. It's saying please let this be my home now, meow, lol. That's so cute. Your cat is amazingly photogenic. My cat does the same thing. Anyhow, it looks like Setaguchi will keep putting out great work and her feline friend will keep sitting on it and make her Twitter go viral. Cats, you just can't get mad at them. Welcome to another session of Ask the Vet, where you get to ask one of our vets a question about your pet. This week's question comes from Jaguar Wong, who asks, why does my dog bring me a toy every time I walk into the house? So what you need to be aware of is you, you've been at work all day, your dog's sitting at home by himself uh, with nothing to do and they just get bored. As soon as you get home, that is just the ultimate happy moment of the day and they just want to play. You know? So they're going to go and find their favourite toy, they're going to come to you and they're going to want you to play with them. So it's a, it's a natural reaction for a dog to, to bring their toy, their ball to you when you get home. And that's it for another session of Ask the Vet. If you have a question that you want one of our vets to answer, make sure to hop onto our Facebook page, leave a comment there and hashtag Ask the Vet. <laughs> well, 
Welcome to another edition of Political Animals, where politics meets the animal kingdom. This time round, we have a story featuring intrigue, mystery, and just maybe, just a little bit of crime. Our story starts in Japan, where a white electoral board, which is commonly set up ahead of elections in order to advertise candidates to voters, was set up near a park. However, people soon noticed that some candidates were being torn off, which under Japanese law is a crime. The primary parts of the board which were defaced were the slogan, let's go to the election, as well as two local candidates. While some suspected this to be a form of political protest, the ensuing investigation was short-lived, as a Twitter user stumbled upon the culprit, or in this case, culprits. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, our defacer of the whiteboard was a deer. The deer, or possibly multiple deers, had wandered over from the nearby Nara Park, which is home to over 1,200 free-roaming deer, and promptly made the paper on the board his lunch. Twitter users responded by saying such things as, the poor things just attempting to increase awareness of the deer suffrage movement. And, isn't this a violation of the public office election law? As well as, maybe we should use deer to predict the winners of soccer matches. Anyhow, with so many deer looking alike, our culprit made a clean getaway. However, we do want to make one suggestion. Taller electrical boards, maybe? And that's it for another episode of Pet Central. We hope you enjoyed it. To keep up to date with all the latest pet news, make sure you hit subscribe below. Till next time, bye!